Hello guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys about the Oracle Play All uh, recording software. It's no longer compatible with iTunes anymore. And that very frustrates me because I use iTunes. And I don't want to have to like just record a song, put it into iTunes, and be on the merry way. The way the software was designed and B was you have an iTunes account and you buy this uh, unit. It's no longer the software is no longer compatible with iTunes because the two companies decide to go uh, two different ways. They no longer have the license apparently to cope with iTunes. On the way, I got this uh, Oracle Player Recorder for Christmas. I got it one year after the one year. And it's, but still, it's a pretty good uh, Oracle Player. It's, uh, it's a good, it's a good unit. But how the heck do I can record it into my computer? I can't. Not without the software. I don't know what own software to use for it. But all right, guys. The reason why I want to talk to you about the software. And by the way, this uh, Oracle Player can be used on a Mac or a PC. Uh, PC. The laptop I am using is a HP Pavilion G6 laptop. You can also use this on a MacBook laptop. You can also use it on a desktop uh, PC or a Mac uh, ma desktop Mac as well. But let's go ahead and show you what the software issues I'm having. Here is the uh, unit itself, guys. This is the record player I got uh, for Christmas. And here is the software and installation guides and stuff like that. The software disk is no longer compatible with iTunes. Even if you even go on the website to download the latest drivers for this machine or this record player, the software is no longer compatible with iTunes. And this is a LP record. It's a very nice record player. And by the way, yes, I do have it hooked up to my computer there, my PC computer. And yes, this does have a, uh, has no switches on the front, all the stuff is on the back, and I will turn the unit around to show you it has the audio output and USB, PC, and DC, and also an you know, on and off button right on the back of the unit as well. You can also hook this up to your computer or your stereo if you want to listen to it that way. But I want to show you what I'm having the problem with, guys. Don't know if you guys can help me with this uh, problem here. Let's go ahead and uh, load up the software here on my computer and it comes up, do you want to record it, uh, do you want to record it. I'm also just going to uh, record only one segment of the song. Let's go ahead and put the needle on the LP itself. And let's go ahead and hit the record. And it's going to record this song. And I want to show you, it's no longer compatible uh, with iTunes. I turn the volume down here. But you can see, it's going to record the song from the LP record. Record all to your computer here. It's taking it from analog to a digital format. And it records this fine guys, but the problem is, is I use iTunes. And I can't use my iTunes account with the software. The software is no longer compatible with iTunes. Now you have to do it a different way, and now you have to do it a certain way. You gotta drop the when you record it, you can uh, hit next and put the title in and put open iTunes for you and stuff like that and get another thing working for you. But 
problem is the software is no longer compatible with iTunes. And I'm kind of really disappointed at that because after having this for a year, I never had a, a problem like that before with the iTunes didn't work with the uh, software. But it does play nicely. It records nicely. Stuff like that, guys. And it and it just does all the sound things you prefer it to do, but iTunes is no longer supporting the record player software. And, and that's kind of a bummer. You know, it's a good it's a good piece of hardware. But I don't know what software you can guys, uh, a third party software you can use for it guys. And by the way, it's still recording the song. But I will show you what's going on after I hit the next button here. And I will load up iTunes, or the software will load up iTunes, and you can see it stopped though. Let's go ahead and hit the next. Let's go ahead and take the record off the player. Let's go ahead and take the record, LP record, and lay it on side of the desk there. First what we're going to do is, you know, we just type the artist's name and what song you're playing and stuff like that. It, it's pretty cool, you know, it works. Uh, the software can be used on a computer, but I used to use iTunes, but now the uh, iTunes is no longer supporting the software for the software of the recorder and that can be uh, can be kind of a bummer for some people out there that likes to record on iTunes or take auto LPs to record on on uh, on record or on the computer here and now I'm just typing the uh, no, uh, record name and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of a tedious uh, process here. But it, uh, it's pretty cool. It, it really does work when it wants to. Oh, that's the right there. And we're just going to give this a, we're just going to give this just a a J for the time being. I'm going to show you what's going on now. After I hit next, you can see I recorded this one song from this vinyl from the recorder up there, directly to from the USB cord into my computer. And you can see it will finalize and open iTunes like it's supposed to, but it's going to open the iTunes, uh, my iTunes library and iTunes itself. That's what the software is designed to do. You can see iTunes is open. But give it a minute and I will show you what happens with the software. Now the iTunes is going to, uh, this is processing on iTunes. It says exporting to iTunes. That's what it says. Thank you for using iTunes. That's what I've been using for the past year now and I that's got it for Christmas, and the software is no longer compatible. But I I don't know I don't know if it's any on third party um, software I can use for it or oh I don't know guys I mean it's like oh boy. you know I don't know but just watch it and see what it does. But yeah, it has the uh, iTunes in the background and it's trying to export the song I have uh, recorded from analog to digital directly to iTunes. But, we're going to find out in a minute the software is going to just fail. It's going to fail. Don't you know what? I don't know why the companies want two different ways. I guess one company is Apple and the other company is a uh, recorder. It's a easy recorder. 
soft or whatever, guys. And that's what I'm using. And I'm going to see if it's going to load the uh, song to the iTunes. Hell, oh, and well, I don't think it's going to do it. And there it goes. Look what it says. Error. It says it has an error. Do you want to try to export it again? Make sure you don't have any on Windows on iTunes opened. See, and that's the biggest problem with the software now. I cannot just import it to iTunes now. Is that ridiculous or what, guys? I mean, that's just ridiculous. Do you want to record again? Just hit no. And hit next. See, guys? The software I can't even use for it with iTunes. I can still record. But I have to do it a different way. And I don't want to do it a different way. I want to just do it. Record the song. From the record. Directly to the computer. And upload directly to uh, iTunes. But nope. Well guys. There was the uh, issue with the software guys. I don't know what own software to use. I don't know what I want to type of third party software I can use for to record to iTunes. But if you guys have a, a, a same issue with this uh, product, leave it down in the comments below. And maybe please help me out though, guys, with the uh, recording issue software, what uh, software I should use. Alright, guys, I hope you like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you guys have any questions or problems with this machine and also please share this video with your own tech people that has the same type of problem. Alright guys, peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog.